What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I hope everybody is having a good Monday. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 tutorial with your boy CJ Farms. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install silo displays into your Farming Simulator 19. This is going to be a mod we're going to be installing. So if you've never installed mods in Farming Simulator 19, it is actually quite easy to do, okay? So guys, click the link down there for silo displays. It's in my description. And it's going to bring you this page right here. Now, I use fs19mods.com a lot. I like it a lot. Um, this is one of the main sites I use only because I just, I really trust this site. There are a couple others out there that I like, but this is the main one I use. Now, what we're going to be installing, guys, are these silo displays right here. You guys see them on my on my episodes and stuff. Um, basically, what they do is, is what they said they are. They're silo displays. So they tell you what you have in your... Um, silo and how much you have in your silo now I'll show you how to um, I'm going to show you how to add even more capacity to your silos okay uh, as we install these silo displays so let's scroll down and what we're gonna do is scroll down to this orange little thing right here this is download you're gonna click the download button right there all right and then uh, what you, you don't want to click the wrong thing on these thing guys because if you click the wrong thing you'll go to an ad and it's gonna put a virus on your computer and it's gonna be bad so go down here and click the blue download button. This is free download. And then one more step after this, I believe. Should be one more left. Okay, right here, guys. Click the green button that says download file below. And then once you click that, your solo display is going to pop up over here. All right. Once you do that, you are going to, you can open it up. Don't open the folder. You want to show in folder right here, guys. Show it, okay? Right there. Now go ahead and close out of your browser. And you just want to grab this, guys, because you don't you don't need to save this. You're not going to need this again. So just grab this, pull it out, and drag it to your desktop like that, okay? Once you got it, the next thing we're going to do, guys, is we have to locate our mods folder for our Farm and Simulator 19. Now, the way you do that is you want to go to your File Explorer, all right? Then go to this PC, and then you want to click right here where it says Documents, okay? Click on that. And then you're going to go down and find My Games right here, okay? Find My Games. Double-click that. And then you want to double-click Farming Simulator 2019. Now, before you double-click that, guys, here's what I want you to do. Highlight that Farming Simulator 2019 and right-click, go down, and send to Desktop Create Shortcut, okay? And I'm going to show you why we're doing that. Exit out of that and grab this shortcut right here and pull it down to your File Explorer like that and just drop it in when it says Pin to File Explorer, Okay? I'm going to show you exactly why we done that. Now, go down here to your File Explorer and right-click, and then go up, and you should see Farming Simulator 2019 shortcut right here where you pinned it in, okay? Double-click, I mean, click on it. Don't double-click, just click it. And then right here, guys, is your Mods folder, okay? So double-click on the Mods folder. Now, some of you may not have the mods that I have. I have a lot of mods installed into my game, as you can see, all right? Now, I already have this silo display right here, okay? Now, um, what we can do, guys, is normally, if you're doing this on LSPFR GT5, you would open these WinRAR files, okay? That is not the case with Farming Simulator 19. You do not open these files. Now, you can open them, okay? You can, you can open these, of course, because they are WinRAR, and you can look at them. Um, but really, what you want to do is close out of that and grab this whole file right here, guys. Just grab the file and drag it. And drop it into your mods folder just like that. Do not highlight anything, okay? Don't highlight. If you're highlighting something, then don't drop it. You want to put it over here in this buffer zone where it says move to mods. And then just drop it in. Now, I'm not going to drop it, guys. I'm going to show you that I already have it. I actually already have silo displays installed. It is right down here. There's my silo displays right there, guys, as you can see. All right. So... Once you got that done, guys, it will actually disappear from your desktop, so you won't have to delete anything. Once you're done, guys, close out of your mods folder. I'm going to get rid of mine because I've already got it. And that's pretty much it for this part, guys. I'm going to take in the game, show you how to uh, install it, show you how it works, and um, I'll see you guys there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so once we are at the menu of Pharmacy Letter 19, what you want to do um, is you want to go down to mods, okay? Go down to mods, and once you're in this mod hub right here, just go to search. All right, and all you have to do is type in displays and then hit enter, okay? And then right here is going to be your silo display, guys. Just make sure it's installed. It should already be installed by default. Um, the game should automatically install it when you put it in your mods folder. But if for some reason it does not say installed, go ahead and double-click it and then install it, okay? Uh, that way you have it when we go into game, and I can show you guys how it works. 
So let's go back. All right, guys. So there was currently no um, uh, grain silo on this farm. Um, I had actually removed everything when I left the farm. Um, and this is probably the worst possible place to put a silo, but I'm just doing it for the sake of the tutorial. Now, what these silo displays are for, guys, um, is they tell you how much crop, what kind of crop, and how much of each crop you have in your grain silo, okay? So here's what you want to do. You want to go to your um you want to go to your menu where your vehicles are and go over to um placeables and then go to miscellaneous guys i'm gonna go to miscellaneous right here and it's probably gonna take me a little longer to get to it than you guys will <clears throat> depending upon how many mods you have installed so i have a lot of mods installed guys it's gonna take me a minute to get to them but they are in the miscellaneous okay so right here they are guys now you have a choice to pick from this display which is a smaller display a standard and then a large okay so let's go ahead I'm gonna pick the large one first alright you're gonna bring it down here and we're just gonna kind of uh, let's see let me make sure I got it the right way yeah so we're just gonna kind of place it like uh, say right there okay alright now this doesn't have anything in it so mine's gonna say zero um, I'm gonna also gonna grab a standard one and we're gonna place it say right there okay and then I'm going to grab the small one. All right. And let's see where we can put it at. So we can put it like, say, like over here. All right, like on the side. If I can get it get it right here. I'm going to put that one right there, okay? Now let's exit out of that. All right, now as you can see, you have, this is your large display. That's your standard. And this one is your small, okay? Now, you can have, you can pick more than um, one of these, the small ones you can. Um, and the more you pick, the more crop it will show, okay? So, for example, on this one right here, you have all the crop that goes into the grain silo. On this one, it only shows two types of crop, okay? But the more of these you pick, the more crop it will show. So, you would probably have to pick, um, let's see, it shows two crop per silo on the small one so one two three you'd probably have to pick four of these guys put four of these down uh to equal a, a big one or a standard one okay so now i'm going to show you guys how to increase your capacity with these silo bins what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your menu and go over to silos and you want to grab uh, now they got i don't know if they got smaller silos or not um i want to say they do that's a large grain silo that's the one i probably should have got i got the other one like an idiot. I got that one. Oh, no. Same thing. All right. So you see these the silo extensions, guys, beside the large grain silo? Pick that. And then if I can get it to actually go back here, what you're going to do is you're going to put this back here. All right. And to make it just a tad more realistic, you want to make sure that the ladder, the ladder on the silo is actually aimed out so it's not on the inside of the other silo. Okay. That way it's, it's more realistic. Now, once you add this, okay, we're going to exit back out. Right here and you're going to see that your capacity is going to go up on each crop okay now see how we have 300,000 all the way down to corn and then potatoes we have a hundred thousand capacity okay same thing on the other side all right now if we want to add another one just say we want more capacity okay gonna go back to silos grab another extension extension <laughs> all right inside joke guys it's a inside joke and you're just going to do the same thing here. Put the ladder out to make it realistic. And place it right there. And once you do, guys, exit back out. And you will now have room for 400,000 pounds of corn. I mean, wheat all the way down to corn. And then 200,000 200, pounds capacity for your potatoes through sugar beets, okay? So the more extensions you add, the bigger, the more that your... Um, silo grain can hold the more that your grain silo can hold okay so just a little pro tip there for you guys on farmers 19 but that's pretty much it guys for this uh tutorial um i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it helps you out as a matter of fact if you did like this tutorial and it helped you out in any kind of way at all or if you just didn't like it and you just want to be nice today leave me a like guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure that you um click that notification bell so you never miss anything i post Guys and girl, that is going to do it. Until next time, this is CJ Farms, helping America grow. Take care, guys.